But uh, anyway, I was thinking about what about starting like convulsing right here. Which you... All right, so I'm checking out Rush. I'm listening to the song Cygnus X1. Let's get into it.
in Okay, I guess now we're getting to the lyrics. I figured there was some words because the, the dang title says lyrics, but that first five minutes was all instrumentals. Instrumentals are interesting. I just, you never know. You never know what is gonna happen during an instrumental. Like in my head is one time, I never know where my head's gonna go. Sometimes you just go on a tangent and start imagining things. And I was just imagining the weirdest things while well, listening to this and down, 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 down. But I mean, I'm still listening. I, I got the melody in my head, but I was actually thinking about um, just some real weird stuff. But uh, anyway, I was thinking about what about sorry, like, convulsing right here. Would you guys think I was faking it? Would you think it was a joke? Or would you think it was serious? And would you try and contact Lex? And she's probably watching the stream to help me. Like, what, what would happen? I don't know why. It's just the most random thoughts. It's like, would it be the song that made me go into that mode? Or, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's, that's what happens with instrumentals. I like instrumentals for that reason. Though. You get really creative. Some thoughts you just throw away. And then next thing you know, you have a new idea for a stream or for an idea or a theme or something. You think of that stuff during instrumental section, and then you have weird thoughts. Like I was just having weird thoughts, but the instrumental would have went on for another five minutes. After the weird thoughts get fleshed out, then the creative good thoughts come. Invisible to telescopic eye, infinity the star that would not die. This is like Rush Unleashed or something. Just Unleashed Creativity. This sounds like it could be the soundscaping for a movie. You even heard the little, oh, I guess wind. I don't know if there's even wind in space. So you heard some kind of mess they got the soundscape. And this is kind of like the vibes right here. Dun, 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 a little ominous or something like that. There, his um, Rush is vocalist. To me, the vocals are kind of androgynous. If I didn't know it was a guy, I don't think I'd be able to tell if it was a guy or a girl, really. I mean, I, I know what it is, but I'm trying to think. If I didn't know, just listen purely to the vocals. I don't know. I feel like it could really go either way. It really could.
And now it's over. To be continued. Is there a part two? Is there a part two? I guess that ended where he, he got sucked into the black hole and he started getting ripped apart and whatnot. What comes after that? Oh, maybe you could be singing from, you know, from the afterlife. Like you're dead, but you're singing about how you're dead and whatnot. What, what comes after this? Because to be continued, I guess this is not on the official channel. So it's just Lear. Okay, it's a random, a more or less random, I guess a Rush Lyrics channel. Probably not officially associated with that. But it seems like there's something else coming. I don't know. But that was super creative. It was given to me. It's like the theatrics and whatnot were there. So it's like between a play and a movie somewhere, that's where I am mentally. Now that I've, you know, the, the crazy thoughts are washed out my head because we got more sections and more sections. And now I'm like more, more in tune. We had a lot of lyrics, so I'm kind of focused up. You get an instrumental, you never know. You never know which way your brain's going to go. I just let it run. I don't fight it. I just let it run. That's my reaction, wherever the heck my head goes. But anyway, you know what I mean? Very theatrical with the vocals and whatnot. Very dramatic. And then the sound, like movie soundtrack sounds. So it's like, I can see this also being a play. Because in plays, people could be so dramatic and, oh, they speak like this. And whatnot. Somewhere between a play and a movie is what this felt like to me. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know.